Creation and resurrection are entirely in God's hands, and, as is the case with creation, He has no need of external causes when it comes to resurrection. There are many examples of this in the Qur'an. It is revealed in the Qur'an that after people die, they will be resurrected on the Day of Judgment. That is their repayment for rejecting our signs and saying, What, when we are bones and crumbled dust, will we then be raised up as a new creation? Do they not see that God, who created the heavens and earth, has the power to create the like of them? As we have seen, unbelievers do not believe that people will be recreated after dying and becoming one with the soil. This example summarizes the situation as regards the theory of evolution. Our Lord, who will reform people's bodies from nothing on the Day of Judgment, also created the first man, the prophet Adam, from nothing. People who have turned into mere bones after their deaths will be resurrected without any evolutionary process. The prophet Adam was created out of nothing, by the will of God, with no process of evolution. Another verse about resurrection on the Day of Judgment reads, you have come to us all alone, just as we created you at first, leaving behind you everything we bestowed on you. Another point requiring careful attention is that the Qur'an points to the resurrection of man on the Day of Judgment. It makes clear that this creation will be like the first creation. Each person who will have died and become one with the soil will be reborn through a recreation in the hereafter and assume a human form. That is why the first human creation resembles this and happens not stage by stage, but all at once and in a miraculous manner. Another example of resurrection is given in the Qur'an, the situation facing someone who did not believe in resurrection after death. According to the verses, God caused the person and his donkey to be dead for 100 years and then resurrected them both. Or the one who passed by a town which had fallen into ruin, he asked, how can God restore this to life when it has died? God caused him to die a hundred years, then brought him back to life. Then he asked, How long have you been here? He replied, I have been here a day or part of a day. He said, Not so. You have been here a hundred years. Look at your food and drink. It has not gone bad. And look at your donkey so we can make you a sign for all mankind. Look at the bones, how we raise them up and clothe them in flesh. When it had become clear to him, he said, Now I know that God has power over all things. This example, given in the verses, is just one piece of evidence that God has no need to create any natural cause in order to create or to take life. Paradise and hell are also created from nothing. <laughs>